since Super People has been getting a lot more people and people are trying to get into the game, trying to find out how to play it, a lot of people are asking me what the best FPS settings are for the game. So let's get right into the game and show you how to set up uh, the game to have the most FPS that you can with your current setup. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. I would love to see you there if you can stop in, say hi, if this video helped you out. So let's go into the game and I'll show you the best possible settings. All right, so now that we are in the game itself, as you can see, we are in the lobby. We click on the cogwheel over here and then settings. The game is still in beta, obviously. So keep in mind that the game might not run perfectly fine because it is in beta and uh, obviously over time they will improve the performance and make the game run better. I currently use the RTX 3080 with a Ryzen 9 5900X, 32 gigs of RAM. So my PC is definitely super high tier, but that doesn't mean that you will not be able to run this game on like 1060 or, or anything like that. So first things first, we go to the resolution. We can change the resolution to the monitor one. Uh, whatever one you have, set it to your native. Display mode, I run the game boardless because I also stream and I like to alt tab every now and then. Uh, if you want to have the most amount of FPS, I would obviously recommend full screen. That way uh, you have the most amount of FPS in the game. Maximum frame rate limit. I usually lock it to my monitor. My monitor is 165. There is no such thing. So I lock it to 144. Uh, limit lobby frame rate. This one, uh, usually I think it's locked to the same one as this. I would recommend to go like 60 because you don't really need to max your GPU out and make it run hotter than it should in the lobby. Like you're not really going to see the difference between 60 and 144 anyway. So put it to 60. Vertical sync, uh, you can enable if you want to lock your monitor to your monitor re uh, refresh rate. That's totally fine. Smooth frame rate, I enable this because obviously this gives, uh, gives us more FPS and just makes it overall smoother. There's an NVIDIA Reflex low latency and you can see on the right side, lowers the system latency and increases the PC reaction time. It basically uh, decreases the system latency. So when you click to shoot, uh, the PC reacts to it faster and you can get the advantage on the enemies and get them faster than, well, they, they can get you. So I, I would obviously enable this. You can enable it to a low latency mode uh, over here, low latency boost or both. Uh, you can see right here, um, system latency is optimized with low latency mode. With uh, low latency boost, you get enabled and system latency is optimized. When the CPU is under high load, the GPU clock rate is boosted. So if your CPU is struggling, the GPU takes over. I have it enabled both. I have no problems with it. So I would definitely recommend you do the same thing as well. So now we have the advanced settings. Over here, we have the first person mode FOV. I always play max FOV. That's just... What I do, what I uh, recommend, you know, what I what I play as. If you don't like high FOV, you can lower this down, play with it, however you want. I prefer max. Uh, now we go to the overall graphics quality. I would recommend going for something like medium. We can set it to medium first and then play around with it. So if we set it to medium, uh, we have textures over here. Uh, you can see on the right side what the game recommends, uh, like how much VRAM you need for each setting. Uh, if you have more than 8, you can go to Ultra. Again, this is not uh, recommended. Ultra settings are only available for SSDs, by the way. Keep that in mind. If you don't have the game running on SSD, you will not be able to uh, run it Ultra. Most of the things, you don't need the Ultra anyway. But the game does run like 15 times better on SSD itself. So I would highly recommend you install the game on SSD if you have one. Uh, so textures, we can leave it to medium. That's totally fine. We don't really see the difference anyway. Shadows, I would recommend putting it to very low as like we don't really need them and they help you out to see the enemies easier. View distance, if you can go higher than high, that's uh, recommended. Go ultra if you cannot set it to high. Uh, foliage, that's the grass and all these other things like bushes. Uh, you can set it to medium or low if you want. Effects, we have explosions, uh, smokes and all of that stuff. If you really care about how it looks like, you can go... Uh, medium on it I would not I would like to go low on this because I don't really care about the explosion smokes and that uh, lower means you can see through it easier as well and it will help you out see the enemies uh, shaders over here we have uh, obviously on the right side says higher shader quality settings improve the lighting detail of in-game objects don't care I, I don't really mind that too much so we're gonna set it to low anti-aliasing 
makes the smoother outlines and just overall, you know, like furniture and stuff like that look better. I, I don't really think we need this in a, in a competitive game too much. So again, set it to low. Post processing. So what post processing does is higher post processing settings enhance the quality of the effects applied to the screen. It just makes the, the screen and all of that other stuff look better. I would set it to low. And then depth of field. Uh, basically, when you aim down, the other things get blurred out and you get this depth of field effect with, uh, with the blur in the background or not. I'm not a fan of that in the competitive shooters, so I have it disabled. So these would be my settings. Obviously, the most important thing would be view distance. Set it to as high as you can. That way you can see further away. And when you try to snipe someone, you can uh, actually do that. Uh, sharpen. I think this is default to 2.0. This is fine. We're not going to touch that. And then over here, we have the AMD Fidelity FX, which is the AMD's version of DLSS, basically. And we have the NVIDIA DLSS. So you can play with this. Set it to however you want. They're both the same on each GPU. So whatever GPU you have, AMD or NVIDIA, you can play with this. I usually use uh, balance when I'm streaming. That way it um, it doesn't run too much and the stream doesn't lag. Uh, if you have a really bad PC, you can go to ultra performance. It will make the game run obviously better, but it would it's going to ruin your quality. If you, I don't think you're going to really see the difference. You can play with it. Uh, with balanced and uh, high and ultra performance and all these three settings in between i use it as balanced usually or performance sometimes uh but you can do whatever you want see what works for you and uh that's pretty much it for graphics we're gonna click apply on audio we can play around with our audio levels that is totally fine we're not really gonna touch that make sure to put this uh, voice input mode as push to talk as why would anyone use uh, open microphone in any competitive shooter i don't understand so make sure to put this at push to talk uh, controls. Uh, you can play around with the sensitivity over here. You have a vertical. Uh, you have, you know, invert, inverted all of that ADS, uh, universal scope. And then over here, you can change the crouch, walk, whatever you want to like toggle, hold or whatever. Uh, the most common question is lean. A lot of people have it, you know, default is hold. And a lot of people cannot hold. Uh, Q or E while running and shooting. So I have it set to toggle over here. That's very important. And then uh, on gameplay you can change your crosshair and all of that stuff. That's not really that, uh, you know, that's mostly personal preference. That will not really make the game run better or anything like that. The most important thing is the graphic settings. And, and once you have those set up, you should be fine and good to go. And uh, that is pretty much it for the super people graphic and fps settings if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments down below if the these settings helped you out if they didn't uh let me know what's wrong and i'll try to help you out in the comments as well and if you don't already know i do stream on twitch and i play a lot of super people as well uh, link is down in the description below i would love to see you there anyway i'll see you in the next video peace out and have a good one Bye bye